Yeah! We've gotta save Pierre! They don't can't go through door! <sighs> I guess that means I gotta change badges around. Okay, here's what I've got. Multi bounce, Shrink Stomp to reduce the attack power because this is going to be a pretty powerful foe at times. Power Bounce combined with Charge, of course. Charge Partner for the multi attack partners. Uh, damage Dodge, Damage Dodge P, and the Pretty Lucky badges to dodge damages, to, to reduce damage in general, excuse me. Feeling Fine and Feeling Fine Partner badges for to prevent devastating status effects, basically, and Timing Tutor Badge for the sake of the walkthrough. Okay, I can go in. Sweet! <laughs> Alright. I wonder how long these candles are burning. <laughs> too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's going on? <laughs> Look well. In the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. It will possess Peach's body and bring life to the most powerful witch in millennia. Possess Peach? Mario, I'm so, so sorry. Sending you that map caused all this trouble, didn't it? Yes! This is why you should not open boxes by shady characters. <laughs> With the power of the demon, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine. Now, arise. Arise, my Shadow Queen. Run, Peach! Run! Why are you laying there? Candles blowing out and then relighting a dark fire can't be good. That's never a good sign. Especially when they do it seemingly on their own. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a box of paper shreddings. Did you blow out and relight those candles? Answer, probably. <laughs> Whoa. Darkness is truly spreading across the land. Oh boy. The way the darkness like has a an edge to it, it kind of reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine when you have the the line between how many shine sprites you have and you know how wide that brightness from the shine sprite spread up spreads out. Uh, uh, what? Hmm? Huh? What's going on? Oh no, not the punies! I still gotta rub their bellies! Oh, brother! The, the sky, it's... Dark. I like how the exclamation points appears above their head as the shadow sleeps above them. It's like they're, whoa! It's a nice little detail. What's all this? The sky. It's turning dark. Who has called me back? It is I, my shadow queen. You. Very well. Where is the vessel? It is here. The girl who lies before you. I told you to run, Peach! Yes, a fine vessel. Now... See, she's not wasting any time. Peach, however, just lays there. It's not like she's inside that bubble anymore. Well, Twilight Town can't get any darker, can it? Uh, yeah! Nope, didn't get darker. <laughs> ah, help me! What's all this then? Am I to deduce that this is the end of the world? No, it can't be! I can't let that happen. 
I must pet the puny's bellies. If the world ends, I can't do that. What was that? Something terrible has happened. Pandora's box has been open. No. Could that dark power have truly awakened? No, this is unthinkable. Well, you can think it, because it happened. Gothic Peach! <laughs> Witness my rebirth. My soul has not yet fully accustomed to this vessel, but I will learn to control this body soon enough. P Peach! Yes, my glorious witch queen. Destroy these impudent fools! Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh? What do you mean? I thought you were bound to obey the one who woke you. Enough of this prattle. Do as I say. Now, or I will send you back to the depths. Well then, you would do well to learn your proper place, slave. No one commands me. Oh boy. My powers are not yet fully restored, but they will come in time. What's going on, Mario? I... I don't... My queen! Belda, Marilyn, and Duplis! You have returned to us! Ah, Belda, what ages have passed. So, you are the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure maiden that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the rumor of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. Yep, Beldum is the true bad guy of the story here. Well, bad girl of the story. She basically set everything up for the Shadow Queen's awakening. Telling Grotus that uh, whoever wakes the Shadow Queen will be able to command her and all the other lies that have led to this moment in time. So yeah, the big boss, well not big boss, the big mastermind of this game was not uh, Grotus, it was not Bowser, it was Beldum. And who are these beings that stand before me? Yes, they do not appear to possess power, but they may be of use. If you will become my faithful servants, I will not harm you. What do we do, Mario? I mean, no way we can agree to serve her. Well, uh, we can actually agree. What are you talking about? Yes, you are obedient. Good, my pet. Ooh, kinky. Of oh, what? Oh. Now you are mine. You will serve me for eternity. And so the Shadow Queen engulfed the world with her foul magic. For Mario, for Peach, and for the world, it was... Game over! What do we do, Mario? I mean, no way we can agree to serve her! Yeah! I'm gonna refuse this witch! Who would select that other choice? That's just stupid. I see. So you defy me. How? Amusing. Then, you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. And the game's final boss begins right here, right now. You are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. Mario, if you don't defeat her now, the world is lost. So don't even think of it as Peach. We gotta fight with everything we have. Let's go! Alright, here we go. And to start off, a tattle, of course. <laughs> gotta get the tattles. Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't believe Peach got possessed. That's awful! Now she's the Shadow Queen, the demon that destroyed this town a thousand years ago. Max HP is 150, attack is 7, and defense is 0. She'll unleash big lightning attacks, and she'll also use magic to raise attack and defense, or to absorb HP. She might even try to drag us into the darkness. I don't feel good about attacking Peach, but we have to do something. 
Don't think of it as speech. We just have to fight to the end. Come on! Alright, let's do it. Alright, this battle is in three phases. This is the first phase, obviously. Um, to end the first phase, you've got to get sh the Shadow Queen slash Gothic Peach there down to half her HP. So aim for 75. Try and do it as fast as you possibly can to save yourself HP, as well as items and stuff like that. So, let's just start charging up our stuff. And charge... Maybe I should be doing a, actually a power lift or something like that. Ah, oh, that's a pain. Attack and defense is boosted. Um, when she does that, you might, might want to swap over to Vivian to burn a couple of turns with Veils. Just saying. <laughs> uh, right now I'm gonna do a power lift here. Um, uh, here's a little hint for you, your stats will be restored twice during the, the course of this very long final battle here, so feel free to use up your star power un up until I tell you so, okay? Okay. That's a pretty decent stat boost, I've gotta say. Alright, I'm gonna keep boosting the attack power because why not? <laughs> oh boy, this is an annoying attack to uh, guard! against like there we go and it does a lot of damage too um i don't want to attack just yet because yeah she's got the defenses up and stuff and stuff normally her defense is zero but when she boosted like that it's it's a pain <laughs> eh. no big deal all right her stats are turning normal time for a power bounce <laughs> feel the pain! <laughs> and oops, no, I want to multi bonk. Yeah! Take her down! Aw! <laughs> so you are not weak. Maybe you are less useless than you appear. This body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you my real power. What do you need Peach's body for, then? Oh, forget it. <laughs> Obviously has to do something with awakening her in this form. Your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You will perish with the honor of having seen true terror and power. <laughs> Alright, now, this is the second phase. All you do is just attack. It's not going to do any damage, no matter what you attack. Um, since your stuff is going to be refilled anyway, um, I actually probably should swap over to um, uh, Vivian to get things set up for a little bit later here. <laughs> is that your idea of an attack? Foolish. Because the third phase is where she... Ah, now! It's where she starts getting really serious. Uh, those hands can either take HP away from you and your partners, or just simply slap you. Oh, no rocks! No rocks! I need to conserve the HP. Um, since I'm basically stalling out here, and I'm going to... Oh, five. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll be able to survive the turn. It's not that big of a deal. I just need to attack every turn for three turns. And I think it's three turns, if I'm not mistaken. Yay! Stylish. I just wanted to get that star point points up. <laughs> now taste my power. Dang HP restoration, poopiness. All right, now I can do. I can take out that audience member. Arr! People just want to keep throwing rocks at me. Dang it. Oh, I'm still not ready for a sweet feast. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised by that. Alright, now I got a sweet feast. There we go. Probably should have did that last turn, but well, whatever. <laughs> Dang poison mushroom right off the bat. I hope this will be a sufficient enough... Um, boost of stats. She's got a pretty good attack power at the moment here. Mm -hmm. Ow. 
hate that healing move. That thing's really annoying in phase three. It doesn't matter right now. Uh, this is gonna poison you if it, it, you can tell the color is what the attack is going to do. Uh, okay. Shade Fist. I think Vivian will be able to survive the turn just fine, so I can just do the regular attacks and poopers. I missed this. Nah, whatever. <laughs> My stats are gonna be restored after this phase anyway, so. Ah! There we go. Hmm. What a troublesome little pest you are. <laughs> No! My audience! Every single one of them! No! Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage you have caused earlier. And now, I will punish you for your resistance. Um, Mario, what do we do? We could be done for! Phase 2 is done. I will ask you again. Will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. Forget it! I know we'll win! <laughs> Very well. Then you will perish. No? Uh, what? What is this? The Crystal Stars! The Crystal Stars? Ah! What could they be doing? They have a mind of their own! Huh? Huh? Huh. Hmm. That's an interesting place that they would form around. Hmm? Hmm? What? No! Why are they going across the lands? What's this uh, shiny thing? Mayor, it's the Crystal Star! But I thought Mario had this thing. Hmm. I wonder, kids, if this is related to the sky getting all dark and whatnot. Hmm, you may be right, but I don't know. But if anything's happened to my boy Coops and Mario... Oh dear! Uh, Coops, you're okay, right? You promised me you'd come back, okay? Yeah, it will be fine. Got a lot of healing items. <laughs> but they don't know that. Punies! Whoa! Crystal Star! What in the world? What is that doing here? This is very mysterious. It's a mystery that... Snap out of it, Elder! Brother! Mario's in trouble! That's what the Crystal Star is here to tell us! I just know it! What? Could it be? Hey, hey, you're right, Petunie. I can hear, I can hear it. A Crystal Star is speaking to us. It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world. And he's in deep trouble. Mario! Flurry! Come on! Don't give up! Yeah, you can do it, guys! Keep fighting, keep fighting! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! We love you! Have babies! with me would what what I forget it <laughs> Gonzalez I, I mean Mario I know you're fighting far away right now for us for all of us the crystal star has told us of your last brave stand maybe we can't do much to help you but we're thinking of you all our wishes are for you for your victory oh yeah yeah feel it Rock go, Great Gonzalez! Rock! Listen to me, Gonzalez! Anybody who has beat me is not allowed to lose! That's right, you star! Tell that shrimp that beat us to never give in! Right! We're sending you all strength, G Man. You feel the love, my man? Gonzalez! Fight on, Mario! Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it! I am feeling it. Don't you give up, Mario. Give it to him! Fight, fight! Yeah, never give in. Yes, believe in yourself. Fight! It's the hungry kids. Mario, you may feel like it's going rough, like the tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. 
please, don't give in. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about the girl lives with Mario. She seems so innocent. It'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. Fight Mario! Fight on! Fight! Woo! <laughs> Mario! Don't give up! Pump them! You can do it! Come on, you bilge pumps! I can't blow in here, you! Fight, Bobby! Fight! Go get him! Yeah, fight! Once more! Go, go, go! Do it! Fight! Go get him! Admiral Bobbery, show them what a real sea bomb's made out of, mate. Never give in! Don't surrender! Keep fighting! I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I am quite sure he'll prevail, <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I worry nonetheless. I, I, I so hope that there is a future in which my little bub can grow and prosper. Well, I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly. I am quite sure he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Darn right, Dad! Go, Gonzalez! Go get him! Mario, you lovely thing! Gonzalez! Go, Gonzalez! Huh? M Mario, Gonzalez! <laughs> Not Luigi? <laughs> Love that. We are assembled, Mayor. Uh, da, da. Hmm? 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 Good work, my comrades. Now, let us do it. Ready and. Mario! Woo! <laughs> Mario, you can do it. Yes, I can. With my arsenal of extremely cheap badges and powerful healing items, I can pull off this win! Is that...? Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices! I can't read them that fast! But you know who they're from! They're... They're all sending us their wishes and positive energy! That's so sweet! What? What are these vile voices? Mario, look at that! What is this? Light! Oh! 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 The shield is broken! Mario! That voice! Princess Peach? What the? How could it be? Mario, I... What? You wretched little girl. You disobey me? Mario, take... take the last of my power. Mm -hmm. And Peach heals you up. Yeah! To the max. What? What is this? I feel completely revitalized. You brat. Obey me, girl. Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. And back to Gothic Peach. Peach! Ah, very cunning princess. But you will not undo me. Know me as your queen. The third and final phase of the battle begins right here with awesome music. Mario, this is our moment. We're almost there. Enough. This ends now. Alright, so now you can damage the Shadow Queen. Uh, start out by using up as much of your special power as you possibly can. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. Something will happen and you'll get it back very shortly. Just trust me on this, okay? Okay, so let's start out by power lifting and start nicking away at her 150 HP of annoyingness. <laughs> Okay, that's that's a decent power lift. There are so many poison mushrooms in that. It was just, eh. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do a fiery jinx here to wipe out those hands. Because those hands are 
by far the most annoying thing of this battle, and they just keep coming back too, but as long as they're gone, you don't have to worry nearly as much. What? How is that you are? You can hurt me. Oh no, we've got our number! Time to suffer, queen! Fools! Who's the fool here? You are for facing up against Mario, and the hands are already back, seriously? That's annoying. <laughs> Alright, so, well, I can do a happy little power bounce here, I suppose. Try and get a feel for where the hitbox is on the body. And Fiery Jinx! A X B. Notice that there's Shine Sprites up at the upper right corner there. A scripted Shine Sprite healing is going to happen now. <laughs> Maybe I should use another power lift, but I really wanted to take advantage of the turns that I had with the power lift to, yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Ah, right, that's fine, that's fine. Everything is golden. Oh, boy! <laughs> um, I think, well, I, I could attack her, but she didn't raise her attack, I, I mean, defense points or anything like that. But what I'm going to do here is a power lift just to get myself set up for the future here. And please do not give me as many freaking poison mushrooms as you have been getting me lately. Stop with the poison mushrooms. Why is there so many of these things? Good lord. <laughs> I mean, I know all attacks have a little bit of luck to them and a little bit of skill to them and whatnot. That's what uh, makes the battle formula so interesting in a way. Because you, you never know if you're going to do the damage that you need to do, the, you know, to avoid attacks or to dish out damage. And anyway, Veil, a B, 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 B. Very easy Veil to do there. But yeah, when she charges up, Veil the next turn. Definitely Veil the next turn or you are going to be shredded. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, this attack is annoying. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, that does, um, something. I forgot what that does. It's fine. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. We've got healing items. She is burned. And notice that the hands on the, the floor there, they have a different set of HP. You can still knock them out. They just have more HP than the hands individually. Um... As much as I want to use a special, I kind of want to power bones here. Oh, jeez, I failed it. <laughs> ah, and fog. That's especially bad because I, I'm not guaranteed to knock out the hands and. Eh. Oh, that worked, I guess. It's good enough. <laughs> oh, that's not good. And our stats are going to return. Don't explode in the audience. Why are you going to do that giant ba bomb? Um, I wonder if I should do a veil first. Because if I do a veil first, um, she'll have, I mean, I'll have the uh, extra turn coming out of it. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. She's going to do her attacks. Um, even though the fog has the shot of making attacks miss sometimes, I'm still not going to risk it because that does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what I should do here. Probably wipe out the hands again. Sounds like a good idea, I think. Alright, Earth Tremor. This is a classic. I love my Earth Tremors, even though I'm not perfectly consistent with them, I sure love them. <laughs> Alright, looking good, yeah! Alright, flip those hands around, yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Alright, and of course the hands are going to come back, but it burned their turn. Mm. Oh, poison. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Got that feeling fine, Badge. Oh! What? Wait, what? Hands attacking? What? Why? Why are you doing that to me? That's not... <laughs> I should've just left... Ah, forget it. Oh, uh, well. Um, let's see here. How about... Special power lift? Let's just raise... Attack and defense again. Because raising the defense is just so useful in this fight. 
because she, as you can probably tell, she can dish out a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, I'm not too worried about Vivian falling or anything like that as well, because I have the life shrooms. Wow, that is a spectacular power lift. That is the best power lift I ever had in my history of playing this game. No joke. Um, yeah, take advantage of that power lift! Woo! And burn for the win. No poison, because I got feeling fine badges. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, you going to... Okay. See, sometimes they don't that they don't attack, or say they shouldn't attack most of the time when you knock out the hands. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to do that. Yeah! I like that. Alright, HP going down nicely. I just really don't want her to heal up stuff. Because those hands are the things that heal. And don't worry, she's not going to mass heal herself using the audience like she did before. That... <laughs> that was a scripted thing. Don't worry about it. Uh, her power has been weakened, so she can't do that again. Her invincibility, you know, is down as well. Um... Oh yeah, my freaking power bounce. I don't have stats for it now. I'll just do a jam and jelly here. Yeah! I don't really care if she gets knocked out because I have the life shroom. It's perfectly fine with me if that happens. Oh my. <laughs> okay, and now we are going to power bounce! Yeah! I keep messing that up because I can't feel out the dang hitboxes. Veil, dang it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You do not know what you have done. What are you talking about? You're the one on the ropes here. You may have that super powered attack, but you are no match for me. Oh wow, that was interesting. <laughs> no, yeah, it scares away the crowd of punies if the bombs explode in the audience, but there's nothing you can really do about that. It's kind of sad. Um, e. and... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Dang healing, I hate that! I hate when you do that! <laughs> Alright. Now... I wonder if I should use, like... Um... I should probably actually charge, like, start charging stuff. Uh, like, do one really massive final attack of awesome-tastic to wipe out the Shadow Queen, hopefully, maybe. Um, I don't really know. Should I... Meh. Meh. Fiery Jinx. If, like I said, if she goes down, I guess it's, it's not that bad of an, a plan. I mean, if it, it's not that big of a deal because she has... I mean, I have the Life Shrooms, so she'll be revived instantly. She'll just lose any stat boosts that I have at the time. Eh. Ah, see? Now she's gonna go down, Life Shroom's gonna revive her. I've got two Life Shrooms. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I should do a sweet feast, uh, come to think of it, because, um, yeah, stats could use a little bit of a boost. I'm just trying to think of the future here. Uh, it won't affect my charge at all, so don't worry. Oh, geez, that was close. Oh, really close! <laughs> so, yeah, don't worry about it uh, wasting your charge or anything like that. It's just going to uh, restore your stats, which is what you're going for here. Or at least that's what I'm going for. Just do whatever you need to do for the situation. Alright, fiery jinx. Carefully press the buttons. Make sure you have the right button pressed before you press the button. Just keep chipping away, keep disabling the junk that she keeps throwing in your way. Eh, ah, that's so awkward to guard. <laughs> oh no, don't pull me other. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, guarded them all, but still, that's annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's. let's charge. Wait, what? Did, oh, I wasn't. my stats can't be changed at the freaking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was my fault, that's my fault. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. We will be okay. I've got so many healing items, it's like... 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. Mm. Okay. Mm. No! Don't do that. I don't like when you suck up HP. No! Mm. Ow. I didn't even guard it properly. <laughs> so annoying when you do that. Alright, now I can charge. <laughs> there we go. And wait, what? Oh, item. Give me that, please. Thank you. Alright, and fiery jinx, of course. She is by far the best partner for this battle. If she's got the veil, her fiery jinx knocks out the hands. It's just fantastic to have Vivian out. Alright. Mm. Okay. Alright, um. Should I do power bones now? I think that seems like a good idea. Ah, uh, okay, 41. Not bad. Um, I'm tempted to actually use a healing item on Vivian, um, just because I probably should actually save the life streams for, like, clutch moves and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's fine. I got plenty of Ultra Shrooms in storage as well, because I've been hoarding them throughout the entire game. That thing is also really annoying to um, uh, guard against if, as well, if you didn't realize that. Um, let's see here. How about... Uh, yeah, I'll do a charge. Charging seems like a good idea. And then I am going to restore Mario's HP. Yeah! Woo! This battle would be a lot harder without items, as, by the way. If you didn't realize that. <laughs> you probably want to be at a higher level if you want to attempt this battle without items, but the game gives you so many items that it's like, eh, well. I mean, the game gives you so many items this late in the game that it, I think they wanted you to hoard them uh, to be able to um, get yourself set up for the final battle, or, you know, you could also get a bunch of coins, buy them off that shop underneath the road port, you know, leave, leave the dungeon, go and, uh, yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Um, Jam and Jelly. Here we go, because I'm going to need that for the upcoming Power Bounce of Doom. Okay, okay, okay. That was kind of weird. It's just, it's just kind of switched from hands up. Oh. Mm. Just do not suck HP. I told you not to suck HP. Ah, You are an annoying critter. <laughs> Alright, charge! There we go, and no, 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 I want to fiery jinx the hands and hope it disables them for the turn. There we go. That'll also chip away at the Shadow Queen's HP. Ah, oh, why fog? Why fog? <laughs> and that. So I might as well just burn a turn or two. Uh, I'm going to charge again. <laughs> Because the fog, I, I just don't even trust any... Wow, that's a really easy veil. The easiest veil ever. But yeah, I don't trust the fog to guard me against the attack. And I don't trust myself to be able to do damage while the fog is out. So let's just wait until the fog is gone. Okay, okay. It's a long battle, so play smart. Alright, good. Oh, missed the stylish timing. That's fine, though. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, what, what, don't you dare... I haven't guarded that successfully. <laughs> oh, nope, nope. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, I probably should use Vivian's turn to heal Mario. Uh, oh, no! Dang you, Daisy! <laughs> Why? Why do you have such a beautiful lullaby? Oops, I want to... Ultra Shroom! There we go. There we go. <laughs> I just said that twice in a row, but yeah, you go. And please work. Please don't fail me now. Timing. There we go. I just used the Ultra Shroom just in case. Maybe I shouldn't have used the Ultra Shroom. Like, maybe I should have went first with Mario and seen how the attack went. Ah, whatever. One experience point for that battle. Seriously. That's always what you get after the battle. <laughs> Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I? I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I had just been reborn into this world. 
I cannot. I must not. Oh, but you are. And you will. Ah! My queen. Boo! And... The Shadow Queen has been vanquished. Peach is saved. Candles going out. <laughs> Regular candles popping back in. Yay! Alright. No! Let's get out of here, Marilyn! Don't get go after him! And Duplis can't do that. Hey, hey, wait, wait! He's gone. <laughs> Princess Peach! Oh, oh, oh no. Mario, over here! Nah, she's fine. Princess Peach is just fine. She's not even hurt. Yay! Oh, ah! Oh, oh. Mario, the power of the stars has been returned to the castle. Oh, wait, what? So it's all over then. I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? No need to apologize, Peach. It was our pleasure. Thank you, all of you. Aha! There you are, Mario. It's Frankly. Well, well, can you believe those brutes even came after me, an old Goomba? But I still made it here. I was so worried about you all. You have no idea. But look at the things, though I guess we're in the clear, am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yep. Yes, I seem to be in one piece, too, so all is well. So, uh, without further ado, take a look at this. Huh? Huh? I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Roadport. But Beldum spread that rumor and... Uh, I'll forget it. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. So maybe there was. And Beldum thought she was lying, but there actually was a treasure and... Oh, don't bring me now, no. It might be something great. All's well that ends well. Now, how do we get out of this dang place anyway? Should be pretty easy now, since all the darkness has been removed. You just backtrack, just follow the carpet. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, darkness should be dissipating across the land. Come on, come on, darkness dissipates. Or maybe it's just nighttime. <laughs> that battle did take a while, after all. <laughs> yeah. So, you're leaving then. Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Aw, oh, Professor, you never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for next term. Uh, <clears throat> uh yes, that's right. And I thank you, Gumbel. <clears throat> Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget all of us, about us, alright? And we, in return, will wish that you find all the best in your future. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Um, Mario, thanks to you, I found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. And I feel like I've grown closer to my dad. It's also hard to put into words, um... My dear Mario, my dear Mario, I'm ready to make my comeback in the theater now. I've found so many things in this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we finish rehearsing, and ring Peach too, dear. Gonzalez. Oh, yeah, wait, I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, uh, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the Glitz Pit and Gonzalez is, and always will be, the champ. So, let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. <laughs> um, Mario, I I feel I feel like I've grown to uh, um, um, oh uh, yeah, oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. <laughs> I, I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. Well, old boy, it was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze down on a broken bob -omb. Uh, 
Hold on, I gotta stop recording for a second. Sorry about that, I was running out of time. But now, I'm off to sea again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I will not say farewell, because you're welcome here anytime. And since you're welcome, you should come anytime you please, sweetie. She will not be in the ending if you don't uh, find her as a secret character, by the way. Now, be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. Well, the boat's almost here. Mario! Wait, actually, it's puny, so I was like, Mario! I forgot who was going to say that line. That's why I said it with a lower voice. Ah, you made it just in time. Take these with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy! They are very fresh mushrooms. Sweet! Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I ate them a little too early. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Thank you. Can I have yours, Peach? Oh, forget it. Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would have fallen into a horrible darkness. But your brave hearts strove for peace and saved this world. I don't know how to thank you, but know that the entire world is in your debt. What? Nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess. What do you know? She started it all. <laughs> if you hadn't come to a little town, we would all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. The thought gives me highs. Well, I suppose that is true. Ah, look, Your Highness. I see the boat. Hmm? Take care, everyone. Farewell! And... Phantom Hourglass Boat returns. Kind of. <laughs> oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please, come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam. And also full flip. <laughs> Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. Whee! Goodbye, partners. You guys were awesome. And still are. And will always be. They're all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, so what with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me. But, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I always believed in that. Thank you, Mario. I... Maybe I should listen to Toadsworth and behave more like a princess from now on. And don't open boxes from shady people! Ooh, sun's coming up. Mario! Look out there! Roadport's positively shining! It's so beautiful! Well, I wouldn't say it's shining, but it certainly looks better in a distance with the sun across it. <laughs> Probably because you don't notice the smell and the kicked up oh, toads and I oh, forget it. <laughs> oh wow, that's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really though, how amazing it is that you saved the world again. Again, bro! And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who's traveled with you is up to. Perhaps this mail will tell me. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your newfangled mail gadget? Mm hmm? Dear Mario, what's up? Goomba here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of rogue porn lore we still don't get. So my research with the professor goes on and on. And on and on and on. <laughs> this letter is like a follow-up of what the characters are up to. With the info I've gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I've always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, know what was in the chest the professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you. It's... A secret! Ha 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 ha! But I'll tell you next time I see you. Dang you, Goombella! Dang you! No? What are you doing there? It's part of my research. I did go back to many of the places we visited, and I saw everyone we traveled with too. La 
la la la la tu 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 Still, I think Koopy Koop pretty much has, has him wrapped around her little finger. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, battle time! Ah! So he's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Look at Mario, by the way, there. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario! I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow, Duplass has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. <laughs> yeah, Duplass is Mario there. <laughs> oh, and little Yoster? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. In the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right or he'll, or he'll get like so mad at me. He uh, said that he could totally take you on in the ring now, so bring it! I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Yeah. <laughs> Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important and all. Ah! Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. Oh, that's good. Oh, and Beldum also promised me that she would never be meet the Vivian ever again. That's really good, too. Yep, I think the three sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. Yeah, I bet she misses Mario. Oh, Cortez. <laughs> and he's on... I mean, Bobbery's on Cortez's ship. Of course. Bobbery goes out to sea every day, every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. I ran into him on Kilo Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so, he's so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down at him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot, everyone on Kilo Key as well, and they say hello. I wonder how that shop's doing. I mean, probably can't get that much traffic. <laughs> Miss Mouse is still running the bad shop in Roadport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit, but as usual, as soon as she shuts foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said just the other day that she had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globetrotting, mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? Yep. Wah! <laughs> Boy, she's agile. Look at her go. <laughs> And Mario's known to be a jumper. She jumps far higher than he can. Oh yeah. In my travels, I hear a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed out a lot, and just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on the mischief making. <laughs> So I guess Gronus is like part man, part machine or something like that. I don't know how he even works, but at least he can't cause any more trouble. Hmm? Hmm? Teleportation. Where is she going there? Hmm? Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you in Peach again. No, could it be? Nah, it seems impossible. He was deleted. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there's one thing that kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express to you. See, I... Uh, well, maybe that's best kept a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know what she's thinking, or wanted to say. So, please say how to peach me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend, Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro. It sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Hmm? Huh? Someone here? Excuse me, sirs. Oh, it's you. I thought I was gonna be Paracarry for some reason. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Uh, please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but uh, I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle and the, uh, the other day, and I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found a treasure map! Oh no! I'm sure it will lead to real treasure this time. I just know it's all oh, God. So, Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. Hmm? Um, I don't know. Uh. 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 Well, I guess Mario is thrown into yet another adventure. <laughs> well, anyway, that was the main game, and this is the credits. These awesome people made the game. I did not. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. This was an awesomely fun project. I just kind of use awesomely in the terrible concept. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess awesome, fun is something that's awesome, but I don't know. I'm just ecstatic to have finished the main story of the game. Just an awesome game I wanted to play, and yeah, I played it. I played it. you seen me play it. It was fun. I'm glad you watched it. All like 80 plus parts of it. <laughs> this thing went on a lot longer than I thought it would, but I'm not complaining. It's a fun game to play. Definitely worth uh, playing through if you can find a copy of it, though you'll probably have to pay a good amount for it unless the game is used because the game is like one of the top GameCube games and it's highly sought after. It's... It's got good reasons for that. I mean, people have good reasons for that. This game is phenomenal. One of the best GameCube games ever. <laughs> Look at Flurry. <laughs> clearly, clearly her photo was photoshopped there. <laughs> and as you can tell, um, there, you, there's a bunch of punies there, but you can't really tell which punies are which. And ah, uh, me, <laughs> Magnus Von Grapple. Oh, Bowser stage! Love the Bowser stages. Bowser was kind of just thrown in the game for the most part, like for comedy for the most part. But he did have some roles to play um, throughout the game. Like if it, like, like he, you know, since he has followers of his own, he has um, he he kind of upped the enemy variety. Like you were able to battle some of his goons out inside the um, Rogueport sewers. And uh, he also uh, influenced some events, like at the end of the game there, he um, uh, he ended up distracting you and Grotus got away with Peach. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of ironic because, um, you know, Bowser was like, I'm going to battle you and then I'm going to take Peach and rule the world. But nah, he, he, he distracted himself and Grotus got away, after, you know, because Grotus had time to recover then after his KO from Bowser falling on top of him through the floor. <laughs> yeah, this game has a lot of great moments like that. That's just one of the many reasons what makes this game so awesome. A lot of variety to this game as well. I mean, there's mini games, there's um, side-scrolling segments, uh, regular turn-based RPG battles, a lot of lovable characters, it's just... Really polished, awesome game. What else is more to say about it? Uh, really, I mean, you see me play through the whole game, didn't you? <laughs> Unless you're skipping ahead in parts or something like that. But uh, I wonder why some of those letters jiggle. Kind of weird. Like, why are those letters jiggly? I can't do anything with the buttons. It's not like my button pressing is doing anything to them and you can do anything with the buttons. Ah, oh, I love the smorgs. Such a quirky yet unexpected boss. Like, the first time I played through the game, and I and I had the uh, smorg uh, storm on the train, I was like, I did not see that coming. I mean, I knew there was going to be a lot of them, but I didn't think they were going to be the uh, mucho boss of the area. I thought it was going to be uh, whoever um, was setting up all the issues in the train. 
But nope, nope, it was, it was a totally different boss than I expected, and it was a fun one. Especially since, you know, you gotta manage its high attack power and whatnot. Aw, oh, tech. I do hope you're okay. Ooh, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow. That is a really weird tower, like... <laughs> Like the, I mean, it's a tower deep underground. Like, who builds a tower underground? Towers are for the above ground stuff and stuff. And yeah, we're getting close to the end of the credits here because yeah, we're at the Shadow Palace. It's sunset. We're drifting away to sea through this photo gallery. I was a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> well, I knew it after I said it, but not before. Not before. The end. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Yes, there's more to the game. There's post-game stuff to do. So, uh, yeah. The walkthrough still isn't over, even after 80-plus parts, as I said. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We'll be back to that save file in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.